sick of people at ESPN or Sports Center who think they have their heads on their shoulders but really don't? Well, it's time for the Jimmy the K Sports Show. We're going to give you the most urgent sports news. Now it's time for the Jimmy the K Sports Show. We are live, unedited, and giving it to you now. Here we go, my friends. How y'all doing out there? It's me, Jimmy the K, the host each and every Tuesday evening here at the Jimmy the K Sports Show. I thank you for viewing yet again, as again, I am wearing my orange in honor or support of hashtag Team Avery Z15. If you want to like that on Twitter, if you want to follow that on Facebook, go right ahead, be my guest. Or you can even donate, as I I, uh, I mentioned a few nights ago as we did the show, I believe it was last Friday, um, on the show, we'll keep that side up to where you can continue to contribute anonymously if you would like. You don't have to, to tell anybody that you're giving. You don't have to put your name there. Just do it anonymously if you would like. Um, this is definitely a cause that's close to me and, and uh, dear to me. And, and uh, we're, we're hoping and praying that uh, Avery gets well and gets well soon. Now on to our sports news. Our sports news, if you keep up with the All About Sports on Facebook page, is not a whole lot. You sit there and go, wow, he's had one story in the last three days. There's been more than that in the last three days. I'll, I'll give you that. But I've, I've, I've uh, been a little behind and been working on a few projects for you guys here, hopefully in the coming weeks or months. So um, with that being said, we'll definitely go ahead and delve right into the, uh, the sports news, which... Uh, I definitely want to go into the the, uh, the NHL Finals. The NHL Finals, the Chicago Blackhawks, for the third time in six years last night, won the Stanley Cup Finals. Congratulations to the Chicago Blackhawks. Our, our, we tip our hats here at the Jimmy the Case Sports Show to the Chicago Blackhawks on their third Stanley Cup Final in six years. Congratulations, good luck, and uh, hopefully you don't win it again next year. I mean, hey, there's other teams out there, right? Uh, whatever, right? Whatever I say, right? Right. 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 What sports news do I want to start you off with tonight? I want to start you off with the fact that the NBA Finals could conclude tonight. Could May or may not, we'll see, depending on what happens with LeBron James. If he comes out and plays tough and the rest of those Cleveland Cavaliers step in and help him out. I personally do not believe this is a one-hit wonder. Uh, I personally do believe. Now, you know, I told you that the Cavs will win it in six. It's not possible now. Either the Golden State Warriors could win it in seven, the Cavs could win it in seven, or Golden State could win it all tonight. With that being said, LeBron James has to come out and has to come out hard and has to be playing and playing. His teammates have to be playing ten times as much harder as he is because they're going to double team him to keep him off the scoreboard as much as possible. So, with that being said, how many people out there feel like the LeBron James is an egotistical maniac? I mean, my hand's not going up, although I do have friends out there who do follow the sports show, who will be uh, unnamed right now, who feel like LeBron James is arrogant. No, your my definition of arrogant is Kobe Bryant, which their definition of arrogant is LeBron James and not Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's a joke. Michael Jordan was not a joke. LeBron James is not a joke. You know, LeBron James has carried this Cavs team from the worst NBA month at the beginning of the season to the NBA Finals. So you can't you can't call him egotistical, a ball hog, whatever. He's a team player. We've seen that in several games where he tends to pass the ball when he needs to pass the ball, and he scores when he needs to score. With that being said, either Golden State wins it tonight or it goes to the Game 7 and the Cavs could win or Golden State could win. We'll find out one way or the other. Either way, we don't know yet. Now, how many people have heard the story? I first got wind of this from the uh, MLB Trade Rumors website. 
The Cardinals, the St. Louis Cardinals. How many Cardinal fans out there? Raise your hand. Any Cardinal fans out there? Well, you might want to kind of back off of being a Cardinals fan for a bit because they're being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigations for hacking into the Astros organization. Wow. Some serious mojo going on there, right? Serious mojo. Serious mojo. Mojo I don't have. But it is some serious mojo. This is the actual story from MLB Trade Rumors, so I'll definitely give them a uh, credit for this story. But this is the actual story that was written here, and and uh, I give credit where credit is due, as usual. Um, so we definitely want to go down here and read the actual uh, investigation story for you as to what it's exactly going on here. As the Cardinals are under FBI investigation. This is the actual story from the MLB trade rumor site. Um, this is credited uh, Steve Adams over at MLB trade rumors. It's the exact story, word for word, uh, but I give credit to, to, to where credit is due. So this is exactly what it says right here. <laughs> it says, the Cardinals front office officials are being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigations in connection to a 2013 hacking of the Astros ground control database. According to Smith, federal investigators have uncovered evidence which indicates that Cardinals officials were the ones to break into the Astros network and databases, leading to the compromise of trade discussions, proprietary statistics, and scouting reports. At this point, it's unclear which officials are being investigated. Um, He reports that no one has been put on leave with the team suspended or fired at the time. Subpoenas have been served to both the Cardinals and Major League Baseball. In a statement to Smith, a spokesperson for Commissioner Rob Manfred said the MLB has been aware of and has fully cooperated with the federal investigation into the illegal breach of the Astros baseball operations database. Smith continues to say that the hacking was rather low grade and it's believed that the Cardinals organization gained entry by using a master list of passwords from Jeff Lunau and those who followed him from the St. Louis front office to the Houston front office. Smith adds that some law enforcement, law enforcement officials believe the breach to be a result of vengeful Cardinals employees hoping to wreak havoc on Lunau's work in Houston. The Astros believe the hacking to be random and notified the FBI who learned that the ground control network had been accessed from a home in which a Cardinals official had lived. Maybe he attends my church. I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke, people. Don't laugh. The breach ultimately led to a good deal of private Astros information becoming public knowledge, including trade discussions that brought a good deal of scrutiny on the Astros organization. At the time, the Astros issued the following statement. Last month, we were made aware that proprietary information held on the Astros server and the Astros applications had been illegally obtained. Upon learning of the security breach, we immediately notified MLB security, who in turn notified the FBI. Since that time, we have been working closely with the MLB security and the FBI to determine the party or parties responsible. This information was illegally obtained and published and we intend to prosecute those involved to the fullest extent. It remains to be seen what kind of punishments will be issued if the Cardinals are indeed proved to be behind the incident. However, 
this is certainly the type of offense that would cost executives their job and there could very well be further legal reper repercussions for those involved as well as further punishments involved to the organization by the league. So, with that being said, the Cardinals are cheaters. There you have it. You got caught. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't disturb. It's alleged that they cheated, okay? Alleged. Alleged. No, I got to put the quotations in there. Alleged. 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 Further news, the uh, New York Mets designated for assignment Dylan G. <laughs> there could quite possibly be discussions with other MLB teams for a trade, but he could be released as well. Other news, and very little news coming out right now, but the Cubs are said to be that of promoting Kyle Swerber. From double A. That's a big jump. He'll be the club's DH in inner league play. By being the club's DH in inner league play, he'll be able to be in the spotlight in the eyes. You know, a lot of times MLB teams are right around this time when they know that they they need pieces or want pieces to better their organization for that advance to the postseason. Well they'll do is they'll showcase. They'll showcase these young players, and by showcasing these young players, they give organizations the ability to scout them through the MLB department, and not only that, kind of gives the other teams a piece to add for pieces to come in the future if a trade were to be made possible through or for any team. With that being said, not a whole lot in the sports world. Again, I wanted to congratulate the Chicago Blackhawks on their third Stanley Cup final in six years. Victory in six years, that is. Hopefully you don't win it again. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to cut this show short tonight with the fact that the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors are playing tonight. So, with that being said, you know, there are three easy ways you can get in touch with us. You can like us on Facebook at All About Sports Zone. So go to facebook.com backslash All About Sports Zone. You can like us on Twitter at GBCursey1. Or you can email your sports questions to me at All About Sports Zone. That's one word at gmail.com. Or if you don't want to do that and want to have more fun, you can. Log on and be live during the show and chat with us through the chat window. But until next week, well, until two weeks from now, I need to go ahead and mention that to you. So the show won't quite be to a close yet. Due to other obligations, next week's show will not be seen. There are other obligations um, that have me out of pocket. So... With that being said, the show can be seen in two weeks. Two weeks being, what's today? The 15th, 16th, the 30th of July, or of June. Wow, I'm jumping way ahead, aren't I? The 30th of June, you can see us live again. Again, if you have a problem viewing our shows on Ustream, because... Our Ustream site is only up for 30 days, and then they bump it. You can also go to YouTube and search Jimmy the K Sports Show in your search engine. Find us there. Those are four ways you can get in touch with us, and I'll go over it one more time because you probably forgot since I told you that I'm not going to be on next week. Four easy ways. Notice I told you. Three, but it's four now. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash all about sports zone. On Twitter at Jimmy Kersey One. 
email us at allaboutsportszone, one word, at gmail.com. Or if you can't find the videos on Ustream, hop on over to our YouTube site and search for Jimmy the K Sports Show and watch us there. Until next time, I'm saying get well and we're still praying for you, Avery. Hashtag Team Avery Z15. Until next time, I'm Jimmy the K. And as the Fallout boys say, let's light them up. Peace out.